Hey everyone, welcome to class today. I'm Sydney and today I'm going to be leading you through a restorative flow that is titled Permission to Rest because that is what we're going to do today. We are going to be giving our bodies permission to rest. So all you'll need for today's class is your mat, two blocks, um, which are optional, but you can also use textbooks if you have big, thick textbooks, um, and a bolster or a pillow. So whenever you're ready, let's get started on our mat. So to start off today's class, we're gonna begin in a Supta Baddha Konasana position. And what that is, is just a reclined uh, butterfly pose. No? So we're gonna take our two blocks. And if you don't have two blocks, that is totally fine. Um, I'll show you how to set it up without blocks. No? And you're gonna take your pillow, your dense memory foam pillow or whatever type of pillow you have lying around the house. And we're just gonna place that in the top half of the mat. And so this is if you don't have blocks. This is gonna be your setup today. It's just gonna be this bolster here. And you're gonna just place the tip of the spine at the bottom of the bolster. Bring the two feet to touch just in front of the groin or maybe even create more space here, almost like a diamond. And you're just gonna recline over the bolster behind you opening up the chest and letting the shoulders fall so that's the option today if you don't have blocks if you do have blocks what we're gonna do is set up in this nice little t formation um, so the block at the end of the mat is going to be in the highest height and then the other block is just going to be on the second highest height. Um, and we're going to keep these a little close together here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place the bolster just on top of the blocks. And you may have to move the blocks if you need. Maybe bring them a little bit closer. And just so like the tip of the bolster or the tip of the pillow is falling on that first block. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn around and we're gonna bring the tip of the tailbone just at the bottom of the bolster and we're gonna slowly fall down onto this nice incline. Bring the soles of the feet together here for that butterfly position and then let the hands hang heavy at your sides. Start to take deep breaths here, focusing on the natural rhythm of each inhale and each exhale as it passes through the nose. Maybe you start to notice the temperature of the breath as it moves over the bridge of the nose and over the lip. Just being mindful of the breath here, focusing our awareness on that rise and fall action. Maybe start to deepen the breath here, elongating your inhales, and then elongating your exhales. 
breathing into the inner groin, softening the muscles there, softening the top of the chest and the muscles that make up that area. We're going to start today by taking a scan of our bodies. So starting from the tip of the crown, start to make your way down to the shoulders, noticing but not judging any tensions that we may be holding onto our bodies, any grippings on the bones. Just bringing those to mind, becoming aware of our body in this present moment. On the next inhale, start to take a deep breath, filling up the belly and then filling up the chest. Bring the teeth together here. And as you exhale, let out a little shh. Let's try that one more time. Big inhale here, filling up the belly and the chest. And then let it out with a shh. Great work, guys. And now rotating the knees together here, planting the soles of the feet into the earth. Let's go in and lift the right foot and place it over the left knee, coming into a figure four. If this is good for you, you can stay here. If you wanna tighten it up a little bit and get a little bit of a deeper stretch, you can bring the left foot a little bit closer to the body. And just start to relax, breathing into that right hip, softening that area with the breath. Allowing the body to feel supported by the bolster behind you. Feeling safe and supported 
in your practice today. Go on and take a nice big inhale here. And then open the mouth and let out a sigh or an ah. The thing about restorative yoga is that we are trying to gently open our bodies, but ever so gently to the point where these openings are over an extended period of time. It's kind of like when you're slow cooking meat you want the meat to be cooked super slow, marinating in all the juices. And so that's what we're doing in restorative yoga, is just allowing ourselves to marinate. Continue breathing here, focusing on the rise and the fall of the chest. Relaxing all of the muscles. Let's take a nice deep breath here. Open the mouth and let it out. Release the right leg onto the ground, and let's go on and switch sides now. So go on and take a big inhale here. And as you exhale, go on and raise that left leg over the right knee, opening up that left hip. You can walk the right foot a little bit closer to the body to open it up a little bit more. But just continue breathing into the left hip area, trying to soften. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the jaw. Relaxing the top of the chest. Letting it all melt. Big deep breath here. And then exhale, let it out. Drop the left foot back onto the mat. 
And then just start to walk yourself up slowly into a seated position. We're gonna remove the blocks here and just place them off to the side. We're gonna bring the bolster to the middle of the top half of the mat. And we're gonna come onto our hands and our knees, framing the bolster and almost straddling it. And we're gonna make our way into a reclined frog position. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna extend the knees out so they can even go outside of the mat. I don't mind you. And what we're gonna want here is just to keep extending until we can reach the bolster beneath us. And if this feels difficult for you, go on and take another blank, uh, another pillow and just place it here to give yourself a little bit more space. And we're gonna start to lower down over this bolster. So get comfortable here. You're gonna wanna make sure that the knees are in line with the ankles here, so nice and straight. And if you have your blocks accessible, you can go on and take one and place it right at the tip of the forehead. And this can add just a little bit of support for the head in this position. Or you can go on and take your hands and make a little pillow with your hands. And just start to relax into the bolster, feeling supported and safe. Breathing deeply into the inner thigh region, relaxing the hips, relaxing the jaw. Breathing into that space behind the heart. Feeling the back of the chest rise and fall with each inhale and each exhale. And just let it all go. On the next inhale, let's go on and take one big inhale. Really feel it filling up the back of the body, holding it just at the tip, and then open the mouth and let it out. Great work, everyone. Let's do that one more time. Okay, I bet that felt really good. So go on and give me a big inhale here. Filling up the back of the body, just at the top like a balloon, and then exhale and let it all go. Great work. Let's go on and frame the face here and start to push our way up. Back into a tabletop position. And so from here, we're going to come into a starfish pose. So we're gonna bring the knees into almost like a fetal position here. It's like a deer, a baby deer position. 
And the bolster is going to be just in line with the hips. And you're going to want to put the bolster on if you're if your knees are out extending towards the right side, you're going to want to put the bolster on the left side of the mat. And from here, what we're going to do is just extend this left arm out and fall over the left side. If you'd like, you can inhale and bring that right hand over to meet the left hand for a big sideways stretch. And then breathing into that right lung. Or what you can do is bring the hands onto the pillow or the bolster, giving it a little hug. Giving yourself this permission to rest. And then propping yourself back up. Let's go in and switch sides now. So if you were laying on your left side, go on and take the bolster and place it on the right side and just flip your legs um, to stay in your field of view. I'm just gonna move to the other side now. So making that bolster flush with the top of the thigh Let's go on and slide the right hand down and then extend the left hand over. Or if you did this on the other side, go on and give your bolster a nice hug. Feeling supported and safe. Allowing yourself to relax.
let's take a big deep breath here filling up the belly filling up the sides of the chest and then open the mouth and let it out start to slowly prop yourself up and we're going to make our way to our final Shavasana. So if you'd like to use a bolster or your pillow here, you can. Just place it on the back of the mat, just flush with the bottom of the spine. And you can lay back on it, opening up the top of the chest. Or if you'd like, you can go in a traditional Shavasana position which is just flat on your back, arms extended side by side, feet extended side by side. And if you don't like any of those options and you want to use your bolster, you can take your bolster and place it underneath the knees. Give yourself a little bit of height here. This feels really good and just tuck the sh shoulder blades underneath the heart and start to find your way into our final Shavasana, our final resting pose. <laughs> 